So last time we looked at how we can solve this traffic light problem that I talked about up here. So generating the sequence red, red, amber, green and amber uh, by observing how uh, the encoding in a bit sequence can actually generate the transitions you need to go from one state to the next state. But as I said before, this is kind of a really rubbish way of doing it because it's not at all generic. Um, and I, it's, it's just not great. So we're going to have a look at another way of doing this. Um, so this is going to use disjunctive normal form. Um, and this is a way of expressing any, uh, any, any Boolean statement in terms of ands and ors only. So, um, say, uh, each, each, um, what we call min term, uh, is a set of ands. So, uh, if I've got, um, x and y, this, this thing here is a min term. And min terms ord together are max terms. Um, so if I or this with y and z, this, this whole thing here is a max term. I think, pretty sure that's right. Uh, anyway, what we want to do is generate some uh, expressions for uh, when we want a red light, when we want an amber, and when we want a green light. Uh, so we said that we had this sequence red to red amber and then to green, oh, uh, to green, and then to amber and then uh, sort of cycle back around here. Okay. What we can do is um, generate four signals that um, allow us to sort of keep track of what state we're in. So we can sort of n number these states as uh, say zero, well, we'll do it in binary, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So we know if we're in state zero, zero, uh, we just want the red light on. If we're in state zero, one, we want the red and the amber light on. If we're in state one, zero, we just want the green. And then finally in state three, we want the amber light on. <clears throat> so what we can do is uh, generate an expression for, you know, the red light in terms of these uh, state numbers. So if we're in, uh, so we'll call this state one, state two, state Three, or actually we'll call them say zero, one, two, and three. So that's uh, more in keeping with the, the, the number we assigned them. So we want red to be lit up in S1, oh, S0 or S1. In S2 we don't want it lit up because we just have green and in S3 we've just got amber so we don't want that set up, uh, lit up either. So amber should be lit in S1 or S3. Green should be lit up not in S0, not here, but in S2, and not here either. So, so we, we've got these expressions now, uh, and, and if we can find a way of generating these signals S0, S1, S2, S3 that are mutually exclusive, uh, this is what we call a one-hot encoding, um, we can actually uh, hook up some ors that uh, take inputs from. Um, so yeah, we can we, we can produce some ors. So if we have an or here and its uh, output goes to the uh, amber light, if we feed in S1 here and S3 here, then the amber light will only light up uh, when either one of those things is true. So this is like a, 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 a sort of hardware description of uh, this Boolean expression here. So uh, we've got this problem of generating these um, uh, control signals 
And one way we can do that is uh, using a counter, for example. So if we've got a counter that counts, for, you know, from zero to three, uh, we get these encodings, but as I said, we want a one-hot encoding, so out of four choices, we only ever want one of them to be on. If two of them are on at the same time, then, um, well, that doesn't really make any sense. Uh, you can't have two states, uh, a system occupying two states at the same time. There is just one state. And the way we can do this is, uh, with this counter, if we feed the input of that into a, uh, uh, let's see, a, 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 a demultiplexer, so if this is a demux, and we've got um, a counter output, so, and that, that controls our demultiplexer, and we've just got, you know, a one coming into this uh, demultiplexer. We'll cycle from here to the next one, to the next one, and back around. Um, so, so we've got this cycle of encodings, which will allow us to then control these uh, sets of ORs we have. So it's actually quite easy now to implement this system using these um, uh, techniques, and and these scale quite well actually. So whenever you want to have uh, you know three states and three four states in your system, uh, you can you can just add a counter and have this demux of a one going into it and uh, have these these control signals go off to go and enable you know part one of your system part two of your system etc uh, and you know it's, it's not a bad way to work uh, in addition with some other techniques that we'll look in uh, to on further videos you'll find that you can actually build some quite complicated things and at the end we'll build a processor quite a simple one with 16 instructions but you'll see that these techniques scale pretty well, um, and yeah, well, we'll have a look at that in the next, well, we'll have a look at implementing this thing in the next video in Module Sim.